Let's see what we're dealing with here. What? Just lights so far. Pretty nice. From Kaisen. Let's see what else is in here. No way. No. Green beans? No! Okay, 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 that was a joke. But in all seriousness though, finding protein on a vegan diet is really not that much of a hit scratcher. You can actually find it in everyday food, even at your house, your neighbor's house your friend's house, your friend's mom's house, the wet market, dry market, grocery stores, even at restaurants, there will always be some form of protein that is vegan friendly. When I was training for the powerlifting competition, it really didn't take me a lot of effort just to get some protein in. And at that time, I needed to get like 100 to 120 grams of protein every day. And I actually did well because I had enough protein. It's really not that hard at all. For the sake of the video and to those who still don't Really know where to go about it. I'm gonna list you guys top vegan proteins that you can get. I want to say they're vegan proteins because they're just proteins that happen to be vegan friendly. <laughs> so here's the list. I'm gonna give it to you now. So the first on my list is of course tofu. Tofu is just a solidified form of soya. So soya, if you you know Malaysian, you love your soya bean milk. Yeah, tofu is the solid version that you can grill it, bake it. Fry it. Oh my god, frying is so delicious when you do it. And what's amazing is that uh, for 100 grams, you can get in between 8 grams to even 11 grams of protein. I ate a lot of tofu during my competition prep, mainly because I prefer tofu over other stuff and it's easier for me to cook and prep and I don't need to like thaw it out of a freezer. So it saved a lot of time. Plus, you can even have tofu as a dessert, guys. How fun is that? Can you eat chicken as a dessert? I don't think so. You have like your 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 chin chow soya, you have your tau fu fa, you can even have it with bubble tea and still get some protein in guys. Now, next on my list is tempeh. Now, tempeh is actually a traditional soy product originated from Indonesia, but thanks to globalization, we can have it pretty much across the world. In terms of its protein content, it's a lot more than tofu because 100 grams of tempeh you can get for 19 to 20 grams of protein. Like, guys, that's a lot. I personally love tempeh a lot, not only because I'm part Indonesian, it's also because it's so crispy and it's so nutty gritty that it has sort of like that peanut butter taste. Now, how you can actually eat a tempeh, there's a variety of ways. If you love Asian cuisine, I highly recommend it to fry it and you can eat it and dip it with some kicap manis with your rice or your noodles or you can even make um, tempeh sambal goreng you can check that out in my video recipe it's so so good if you go to most of the Malaysian restaurants they would add some like ikan bilis <laughs> so you can actually make some of your home that is cheaper and a lot lot more yummy if you want to implement tempeh in your western meals, you can even make it into tempeh bacon where you take the same ingredients to make a bacon flavor such as smoked liquid, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, um, liquid smoke and like some sort of sweetener and then you kind of like toss the tempeh in it and then you slice it in very thin slices and then you toss it again and then you put it into the oven and you bake it or you want to fry it up to you. Oh, it's so good. You can even have a tofu scramble. See, I'm like going into places because it's just so, so exciting when you eat tempeh. Okay, Lina, calm down. Calm down. Now the third thing on my list are pulses. Now pulses not regarding to your heart pulses. <laughs> Um, pulses are just edible seeds, black bean, red bean, garden peas, and more. Their protein sources are so amazing because, for example, yeah, black beans, um, 400 grams can up, get up to more than 20 grams of protein, guys. Lentils, you can get 8 to 9 grams of protein per 100 grams. Chickpeas, 7 grams per 100 grams. Imagine chickpeas, you can make it into hummus, you can have hummus as a snack while getting your protein in. That's amazing, right? Garden peas, also 7 grams per 100 grams. I personally don't like taking beans as much compared to tofu tempeh, mainly because for my body specifically, I tend to 
get a little gassy <laughs> when I eat beans. As they say, beans, beans, good for your heart. But the more you eat, the more you fart. So I can't take beans as much as I want to if I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> Now the fourth thing on my list are nuts and seeds. Yes, all of those tiny little things do have protein sources. Now in Malaysia, nuts and seeds tend to be a lot more expensive than compared to like Western countries such as Australia. Unfortunately. <laughs> so a lot of times people would like to use it for like again toppings or even on like your toast and your peanut butter. You can even put it on top. Chia seeds, you can even soak it with water and have it at like a dessert with fruits. Or you can even use um, hemp seeds as part of an egg replacement and you put into your baking goods and that can also provide protein. Now the last thing on my list are actually vegetables. Yes, your greens do have protein in them guys. It goes back to my point before where all the little things that you should eat every day contribute greatly to your macronutrient that you need. I'm going to take out my trusty notes again because i want accurate information brussels sprouts two grams of 80 grams cauliflower the white stuff it doesn't even have to be green it get 1.5 grams per 80 grams per serving and you get stuff like spinach two grams per 80 grams of serving and more and more and more so guys protein you can find it in almost a lot of things. It's not just limited to those big items. All the little ingredients matter too. So next time if anybody's asking you where do you get your protein from, you send them this video. There's a hell lot of options out there for not you, but for everybody. Don't you they don't even have to be vegans to be eating vegan protein. It's just protein, guys, that happen to be in food that happen to be vegan friendly. I just get so frustrated when people try vegan food and they're like, oh, this tastes just like food, real food. What? <laughs> Huge thanks to Carrie Torrance. She's actually a qualified nutritionist. I'm just going to read out her credentials here. She actually has an MBA and T with a postgraduate diploma in personalized nutrition and nutritional therapy. She's a member of the British Association for Nutrition and a Lifestyle Medicine. And she's also a member of the Guild of Food Writers. Not only did I get this information from um, Carrie Torrance, but also a lot of YouTubers who happen to be in the fitness industry. For example, Brian Turner, he actively competed in bodybuilding and he is a vegan for just as long as I am actually. And he also act actively talked about um, the type of meals that bodybuilders or anybody who's looking for high protein meals on his YouTube channel. Another person you can check out is also John Venus. He's another huge vegan hunky with Another one you can check out is Naturally Stephanie. She's not only a Gymshark and a My Protein Ambassador, her abs are like for days. She's also on a vegan diet and you can tell by her pictures, she is not lacking protein. Nah, uh, uh. And there's me as well. I've competed in powerlifting field. I've gone to the gym and I've built strength on a vegan diet. So yeah, that is my list of the protein sources you can get on a vegan diet. It's really not that hard, not even expensive, and you can find them in your local grocery stores or again, go by your, your neighbor's house, your friend's house, for sure, and you can find vegan um, friendly protein sources if you want to include in your diet. Before you go, please give a thumbs up on this video if you like it, comment below if you have anything to share, and also most importantly, Finally, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video like I did. And for those who are still doing vegan very challenge, I hope everything is doing good for y'all and don't give up. All right, I'm gonna go now and I'll see you guys later and have an amazing, beautiful day ahead. Bye.